Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how we can use global data sheets and global variables in uh, kits um, test cases. Now, first we're going to start with global variables. Now to understand that, we're going to create two test cases quickly. So this one is TC1 and this one is TC2. Okay, now what we want to do is we are going to create a variable in test case one, and then we want to use it or use the value of that variable in test case two. Because it might so happen that in your test cases, you might generate a, a string, a number or whatever from the first test case, and you might want to use it in your second test case or third test case or fourth test case, so on and so forth. So for the first test case, now uh, you can have uh, these variables as uh, like this, so you can say browser add var, and I'm going to say, um, let's say value one, and I'm going to store it in a variable called var one. Right, so I have created a variable um, in the first test case by the name of var one, which has a value one. Now I want to use this variable in test case two. Now, uh, in order to do that, uh, I need to change this add var to add global var, okay? So add var will only restrict the usage of this variable to this test case, but add global var will ensure that this variable is used across the entire test suite. Now, what does that mean? It means that now in test case two, if I use browser and let's say I want to print it. So print uh, at the rate, uh, so not, not at the rate, but I want to print this variable. So at the rate, uh, sorry, percentage var one percentage. I can come here and I can try to print this. Now at this stage, this one um, uh, is capable of creating a global variable. So the value one will be created and in test case two, this value will be used or printed. Now you can use this value to set this value in a text box or select it from a drop down, or typically how you can use any variable uh, in your web automation or API automation. Now, one thing that we have to keep in mind is these two test cases, uh, for them to use this global variable, must run in a test suite. These two must run in a test suite. So now what I will do is I will go to the test execution pane and I'm going to quickly create a test set. Uh, I'm going to call it set two. And then I will select these two test cases. Um, and now I'm going to execute. So the first test case is going to create a global variable uh, and set value one to it. And the second test case is going to use that global variable and is going to print the value, right? So let's run this. And uh, the second test case prints the value, value one. And the first test case sets the value, value one to var one. Now, um, if we have to uh, try this with, let's say, value two, so I'm going to change the value to value two. Okay, so now if I run this, I should see that in the second test case, the value two is being uh, uh, populated. Now remember one thing, whenever you're using add global var, it is always best and when you're going to trigger a new test set or test case execution, always best to restart this. Always restart your execution or your tool uh, before you uh, run it from the UI of the tool. But if you're using command lines uh, or CI CD tools, it does not matter, it's not a problem. It's only when you're going to run it from your local machine um, 
after the first execution always restart it that is refresh it okay so now i'm going to execute this once again and you see test case one var one has been added with the value value two and uh, test case two it prints value two so this is how you're able to pass values across test cases from a test suite now in my experience this works perfectly well with test suites but if you individually run these from the test design pane the value may not be transferred from one test case to another test case uh, these this add global var is uh, is a good example or a good execution uh, um, method when you're running it from a test suite. Um, now, there is another thing that you can do. I mean, you can always get creative with this one. So you can always use a uh, data sheet. So I'm going to create a data sheet. I'm going to call it, let's say, sheet one. Now, what you can do is you can use something like browser store uh, variable in data sheet and then you can store um, the variable name whatever it is let me call it um, column one I'm going to store it in column one I'm going to store this value now this value, let's assume from a web automation perspective or an API automation perspective, is constantly changing. For every execution, you get a fresh value that you're storing it in a variable and then you're storing that value directly in your data sheet for test case one. Now in test case two, what you want to do is something similar. You can use test case two to store the value also in your data sheet in column one. So what you can do is use the same technique. Let me put it down. Browser store variable in data sheet. So I'm going to store it in column one. But what I will do is I'm going to store this var1 now this is a global variable so i'm not defining this variable here it's coming from test case one i'm just going to store this value in column one and then i'm going to eventually print the value in column one so everything remains the same uh, in the previous experiment that we did but in this uh, experiment in this example we are just going to uh, store it in a data sheet uh, now we're going to run this with a fresh value i'm going to call it value three okay now as i said we should restart it it's always best to restart that means to reset these variables um, and now if we execute uh, the test set let's also keep the data sheet open yeah now if we execute this test set we are going to choose the environment as test because we have added this uh, this new sheet in the test environment right so it is important that we select the environment as test and then uh, if we run this okay so we see that uh, TC1 shows that var1 is updated with value 3 and the value is stored in the data sheet and TC2 uh, prints value 3 from the data sheet so let's go back to the tool and see what has happened in the data sheet you see value 3 is actually stored in the data sheet from test case 1 using this option store variable in data sheet and in test case 2 um, it is storing this global variable directly in the data sheet now once it is in the data sheet you can use it for any purpose that you want right so this is another creative way of using this one now what we'll see is the usage of this global data or the global data sheet. Um, so in order to understand this, we're going to create two more test cases. Okay, so I'm going to say DC uh, three and one more DC 
four. Okay, so now in DC3, let's say I want to print a data that will come from a global data sheet, uh, from this global data sheet. Now, what essentially this entails is there are certain data in an application which is global and is uh, known beforehand. For example, the URL of the application or the endpoint of the APIs, so on and so forth, right? So this global data sheet helps you to configure those data um, across these test cases, okay? So uh, uh, in order to do this, uh, if I go back to sheet one, right? And if I add two rows, um, so control D, and this one is control D. So now this one is for TC3, and this one is dedicated to TC4. Now I'm going to say, um global data example okay so let's say this is a column that i have created called global data example and i have some value so i'm going to say sample uh, value one okay now if i have to use this uh this uh, value sample value one i can just use it in test case three by only referring to the sheet and the column so sheet colon the column name okay this is as simple as that but if i have to make this a global data what i have to do is just select this and then click on this uh, globe icon thereby making it global data. You can see the tooltip saying, make the selected data refer to the global, uh, refer from uh, the global data, right? So if I select this, it will ask me to uh, enter a global ID. So I'm going to add an ID like hash one, okay? So you can uh, you know, use an alphanumeric uh, ID as well, perfectly okay. Now if I do this and click okay, and I save this, uh, I will see that in the global data, there is a, uh, an ID created and the column is automatically captured. And the column is global data example and the value that I had set here um, is now uh, part of the global data sheet and the sheet one is referring to hash one. Now hash one is actually the global data ID. Uh, that I have set over here. So now if I run test case three, you see it is try it is going to print uh, the value from sheet one uh, global data example column. Now if I uh, try to run this uh, with no browser, it will print the value sample value one because it is picking up the value by referring to the global data ID one and is picking it up from the global data sheet. Now I can use the exact same ID for test case four as well. So I can say browser um, and then same concept print. Now in order to print uh, this value from the second test case or TC4, I have to come to this sheet and I have to, you know, tell the uh, tell the test case that hey, uh, please do pick it up from uh, the global data sheet. So here I can also put hash one like this, and that would be all. Or if I just remove this and I say make it a global data, then I can say uh, you know click on this one. And this is already selected hash one. So now if I click on OK, uh, this column is now referred in the global data sheet for test case four as well. OK, so now if I drag and drop this one, both for TC3 and TC4, uh, the global data uh, ID hash one is being referred. OK, so now if I run this for TC4, I should be able to see that even for TC4, uh, sample value one is being printed. The only problem with this approach, uh, in my opinion, is 
it is it is good only when this data is known to us that is the global data is known to us uh, so it is very easy to set it up directly in the data sheet even before we start our execution but uh, if this data is something that is dynamically generated by tc3 or tc4 or any of these test cases above then um, this global data uh, as far as my knowledge goes uh, this global data uh, is not uh, modifiable directly we may have to write a custom code to do that but directly from the built-in functions we cannot modify this data so that uh, means that i cannot have a dynamic data generated by tc3 which can be used in tc4 using global data sheets i can use the global var that i had explained in the first half of the video but uh, i cannot use the global data sheets but that's the only caveat but other than that if the data is known i think global data works perfectly fine so that's all for this video uh, i hope to see you all in the next video